Yo, everybody, what's up? How we doing today? We're here for Ken's Food Review, the green room down in uh, St. Mary's, Georgia. Another Georgia job today, so I'm definitely looking forward to smashing on this pizza. The last place I went out to in Georgia a couple weeks ago, the last time I was down here, I got told I had to try out the green room. So we're here, and we're about to do a pizza review. So excited. I can't wait. This pizza smells so good. My mouth is just watering. Oh, man. And just in case anyone from the Boston area and back home needs to find a good pizza, um, I know I haven't tried it yet. I haven't given it a score. I'm just smelling it and looking at it. Like, check that pizza right out. Oh, yeah. All these guys are from across the river and Fall River. Um, even one of the uh, owners is from Mass. Uh, I forgot what part of Mass is, Westport or something like that. But really excited that I found a, a Boston place to import all their food and everything too so that way it tastes better because our water down here is just horrible so let's try this dang pizza out it is hot I'm trying to buy myself a couple more seconds so that way it cools off man I'm just excited look at the size of these slices too like we get the whole thing so you get the flop all right so you definitely need to fold this bad boy in half there's no going around that you can smell that sauce on it too. It's all fresh. Oh, it's hot. Oof. Everyone knows one bite rules suck. Wow. Talk about a hot, fresh pizza out the oven, huh? I mean, it's just, it's just golden right here. Hey, I sent the tax man. Lost my job and got hooked on mad good pizza. Bought a shotgun <laughs> and they took my car and bought a sawed off shotgun. Sent the tax man, I lost my job and I got hooked on mad good pizza. Shut the lights off, got the car in, bought a sawed off shotgun. Yo, so as I'm buying another second, I let this pizza cool down a little bit because it is just too dang hot to, to even really try right now. I can't even hold it, it's just burning. Um, and I'm trying not to make a mess all over myself because I do have to go to work and be productive today. I don't know who made the rules. It wasn't me, though. So there we go. Let's try this bad boy out. It's cooled off a little now. Let's see if we can get a drip rate. Decent drip rate. Oh, that's, that's really good. It's good for those arteries. Well, just that cheese just drips down. Oh man, it looks so good. Here we go, one bite. Everyone knows rules suck, and let's hope I don't make a mess. I'm like, look, you even get nice thick cut of onion on top of that pepperoni. It was in the sauce and it slid off, but I just had to show you that nice thick cut of translucent onion on top of that. Let's go ahead and try this cheese and pepperoni. Really nice thick cut ba um, yeah, bacon, thick cut pepperoni. Really good spice and flavor to it. It's not overpowering. You can definitely taste the cheese in it. It just really gives it a nice bite and solid milky creamy flavor. Mozzarella is really on point. Some really good cheese right there. Um, it does come with a lot of grease. So we'll see if we can get a, a drip rate. There is a lot of flop on this. It is a huge pizza. So you're just going to have to fold it. And look, it stays up. Look at that. It's starting to slowly fold. But it stays up. That's That's how you do it. You know, not bad at all. We're getting excited over here. All right, let's bring this pizza box over so I don't make a mess. Grab everything. really good pepperoni flavor and they loaded with pepperoni too so they don't skimpy on that 
Look at that, another piece of nice onion right there. Delicious. You can tell it's a homemade sauce. They don't use nothing jarred. Very good sauce on this pizza. The crust is a little different. It's a little softer. Oh, here comes that drip rate coming in. Not too bad for this slice. The other slice was a little bit more. It was a little hotter. But still, not bad for a drip rate. I'm kind of impressed. It's not overly greasy like you'd think it would be. The crust doesn't have a lot of crunch to it. It's kind of a soft crust. Definitely soft and doughy. As much as I love a good doughy crust, I like it a little more with some more crunch in it. But the green room does pretty damn good pizza. I can't, I gotta come back and try out the rest of the food and some of the desserts. See how really authentic this place is. But I don't know what straw I drew to come to St. Mary's today. But I'm definitely glad I got that straw. It's pretty good pizza. It's a little greasy. Little doughy and soft. The crust isn't crunchy. The sauce has amazing flavor. Nice and light. <clears throat> Pepperoni has like perfect spice and kick to it. And just blends in with that mozzarella cheese. So nice. Um, mm, Green Room and St. Mary's. Georgia. I'll give you a pizza. 8-2. That's a review. I think Biggie's was a little higher. Biggie's it is for the win. Solid score. Good pizza. Good people inside. And that's a review. Eat too. Good food. Good eats. Till next time, enjoy your Friday. Hopefully you find a good piece of pizza.